We've been married for 11 years, and uh, the first eight years of our, of our marriage was uh, uh, pretty basic, just not real, but uh, just getting into our roles and um, not really connecting with one another, not really having a relationship. Um, we not got being deliberate yeah. in our in our marriage. Yes, and um, when the kids came, it became more of a you know just getting into our roles and not really connecting with much with each other. Just she do her part, I do my part. And, uh, you know, we came to a crisis situation in our life, in our marriage, and realized we needed to uh, make some changes. And, uh, mm -hmm. and it's yeah. only by God's grace mm -hmm. that we're here, uh, right here and now. Yes. And uh, part of the change for us is uh, many of the tools that are in this book. And um, we can't speak highly enough of this book. Um, it is such a good... Uh, thermostat or a guide as far as keeping on track on where you want to be in your in your walk with your spouse uh, with your marriage um, it uh, you know so many of the chapters speak volume to us um, and we see it that how it can be uh, something you go back to over and over again and you never really get it all the way through uh, you may read it one time but you don't want to go back to it and be able to uh, glean other little nuggets from different areas that uh, you may see that you're weak in that you weren't before. And uh, stuff that you get good at um, is great. When, when you see other parts of the chapters that, that you need to work on, you can you can actually get better in those areas to, to, for, for your marriage. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, you know, one of the chapters talks about um, learning about marriage. And, um, you know, you can never reach a point where you um, you know everything or you have reached a pinnacle you know we it, we liken it to our Christian walk that we can never get to the highest level with the Lord um, we always strive to you know, to the next level and um, you know the book talks about that and um, one of those things is learning more about marriage um, going to seminars reading books um, you know listening to sermons um, you know whatever we can do to learn about marriage um, you know, Ronnie touches uh, on in the book, and uh, we like to say that um, that we make our marriage our hobby. You know, make it fun, um, but always continually be learning more and uh, reaching a, a higher level mm -hmm. in your marriage. You, you can never learn too much, and uh, you know, uh, another chapter that was that's, that spoke volume to us is the uh, the chapter on genograms. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it's just really neat to, to map things out, to know where you came from and where your spouse came from and why they act the way they do and why they're, you know, where their, their uh, responses come from, both from, you know, from hurt or pain or even, even uh, things of joy and celebration that they experienced in their lives. You understand more fully about uh, how they are going to react to things and why they react to things and also why you react the way you do. And um, the genograms are so neat because it maps everything out to where you can see everything in black and white and, and you're able to see the generational uh, negative things that have been passed down in your generation over and over again. You're able to, to pinpoint them and say, you know, I want to change that in my, in my generation. Mm -hmm. And you want to make those changes uh, alive now because you're able to see it, it mapped out. Um, we genograms. We, we talk about these. You know, th that's one of the things that we're we focus on uh, day in and day out because it's so it's so crucial to understand genograms when it comes to resolution conflict. Which the mm -hmm. book does a great job of going into uh, discussing how to deal with with uh, how to how to fight in a, in a way that doesn't hurt one another and how to discuss things and. Uh, you know, it, it seems like an oxymoron, but there's a way to discuss things and to really bring things to light to where you're closer in the, on the other side than you were in the beginning of the, of the disagreement. And uh, uh, genograms is a great, a huge part of that. Mm -hmm. um, like a couple of other chapters that were, you know, were big for us and, and for me personally, I think being the being a husband was the uh, the chapters on on priorities and uh, and uh, boundaries. Um, I look at it as that you know boundaries and and uh, the boundaries and, and priorities are, are like it's, it's like a coin. They're, they're two sides of a coin. You can't really have one without the other. 
and uh, we, we, we're just a testament of that once we start getting our priorities straight, uh, and, and, and some of it was just me leading in those areas and our priorities, both, you know, putting God first, our marriage second, our kids third, and the work fourth, you know, as an example, uh, God started blessing us beyond what we could ever imagine. And, uh, you know, he, he continues to bless, he's, he's faithful, and, uh, and that's one thing I have to say, that this book just is, is, this book is blessed by God. There's, uh, um, there's so many things that, you know, it's so neat the way this book keeps things, you know, it can be a little overwhelming in the book, the 12 steps, but it, it, it's so, but it's, if you just take one chapter at a time and, you know, don't try to do it all overnight and realize you're going to be coming back to it off and on and, you, and you're, going to add, you're going to add this book to your, to your tool chest, you know, I like to think of, of other material for marriage to work on in your marriage. And, um, you know, I just can't stress enough that you didn't, you know don't don't get overwhelmed because it can be overwhelming if you're if you on some of the stuff. But the, thing, the neat thing about it is is that we can we can never stop growing as Tara said earlier. We can never get closer to to uh, we ne we can never uh, our marriage can never stop growing. And because of this, we're able to just mm -hmm. you know really we don't want to settle for less than God's best. Nobody mm -hmm. should. Right. Exactly.